Nathan, I know it's a new RAV4, but it looks like the old RAV4. Well, kind of modified. Yes, and that's because it's the RAV4 EV, newest generation. And it's only being sold in California, and they're only selling 2,600 of them. Coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. All right, Nathan, what's under the hood? Well, an <laughs> electric motor. And here's the interesting part about it. It actually has two types of power. It has its regular power and it has its sports power. And what's the difference? Normally, torque, and that's what it's all about with electric vehicles, 218 pound-feet. But you hit the sport button, 273 pound-feet of torque. That is a lot of torque. That is a phenomenal amount of torque. That is 100 pound feet more than the regular RAV4. Yeah, and you can really feel it off the line because you have maximum torque at zero RPM because it's electric. Impressive, and the horsepower, you remember that? Uh, 153, 154, 154. <laughs> okay, 154, we want to get that right. And Mario, we are in what is from the outside a Gen 3 RAV4, but what is obviously quite different from the inside and from a driving experience. Tell me about what we're driving. Right now we're driving the RAV4 EV. Uh, it is based on the third generation RAV4 platform. And this will only be for sale in California, is that right? You, yes, correct. That is for Northern and Southern California, so. And why only California? Why not the rest of the country? Well, I guess that's the first question people are wondering. <laughs> what we want to do is we want to just test the waters in regards to electric vehicles. You know, we're seeing electric vehicles out there. We know they're becoming popular, especially with the price of gas, you know, going up and up. I left Los Angeles Monday and it was $4.19. So we're just trying to feel and see how people like it, if they're interested in it. And it might be something we will expand on even more later. What's the range on this vehicle? Well, we have different ranges on the vehicles because you can charge the vehicle either in a normal or extended mode. In normal mode, it is 92 miles. Extended road mode is 113. Um, but we, the government says we cannot take either one of those numbers, so we had to use a number in the middle, so it's 103. 103. And the system that it's using, you developed jointly with Tesla, is that right? That is correct. It was a great combination that we came and we came together with them. And the nice part about it is we're using technology that they've used, battery systems that they use, and they're very familiar with. Uh, people have heard about them in the media and things. So it's a great system and it was a great partnership. Is this the same technology that's in a Tesla Model S? It's very similar to it. Uh, their system's a little bit different because you've probably seen where you can get higher miles per hour out of the vehicle and even a longer charge out of it, but it's based on the same system. Now, uh, in terms of cost, how much is this car going to cost? The cost of the vehicle is $49,800, and that is pretty much complete itself. There is no other options available except for uh, Blizzard Pearl White, which would cost you a little bit more. And do you have an expectation of how many you're going to sell in California? Um, well, we are making 2,600 of these vehicles, and that's over a three-year time span. And we'll look at that also to see if we're selling them you know, quicker than three years or if we use it to take a little longer. That'll determine if we're going to continue on or expand this throughout the United States. So um, you're expecting to sell, if I remember you said this, 200,000 of the new generation RAV4. So this is 2,000, which if I do my math right is, what, what percent is that? It's pretty tiny. It's pretty small. <laughs> it's At 2,600, it is small. It is small. And again, it's just to test the market, you know, just to see how people are, if they do like an electric car. Charging time on normal charge is about five hours. On extended charge is six hours. Now, I've spoken about normal and extended charge. And what I'd like to say is the normal charge is what we'd like the consumer or the customer do every day on an everyday basis. The extended charge is to be used once in a while. Say you know you have a longer distance to go or you go into maybe an extra stop that day. That's what the extended charge should be used for. And that not on an everyday basis, but like on a once in a while basis. Now, is that using 110 or is that using 200? 
hundred and what is it? Two forty. Two forty. At yeah. forty amps, and that'll get you the five hours or the six hour charge. I, I thought so. It's on it very quick. How about if you just plug it in at home? How long then? If the battery is pretty much fully depleted, you're yeah. looking at forty four plus hours. Yeah. So, so there's quite a big difference. And the charger that does come with the vehicle, we want to recommend that is for emergency uses only. So say, you know, you go to a friend's house or you decide to maybe spend the night at a relative's home, and you're like, oh, I still need to charge the vehicle. That's what it'd be used for. But mainly, you want to use the charger that you will have in your home. You're gonna love this. So when you're in regular mode, this thing puts out 218 pound-feet of torque. That's pretty good. In sport mode, which is where it is right now, 270 feet, 273 pound-feet of torque. Once again, 273 pound-feet of torque. Zero to 60, sport mode, air conditioner off. Not that it matters. And altitude doesn't matter either. Let's see what happens. Whoa! Man, this thing's got some balls. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. <sighs> Zero to 60, 6.74 seconds. <laughs> That's really good. Now, bear in mind, this was impromptu, so it may have been a slight downhill grade. So what I'm gonna do is go back the other direction, and if we combine the two zero to 60 times, we should have a pretty good estimate. The guy was uh, saying, Mario, gentleman who's all about electric RAV4s, said that uh, it was around seven seconds with the sport mode on. And you know what? That sounds about right. So we'll try one more time. Here we go. Man, this thing really just flip. Maximum torque is at zero RPM. It's a cool thing about electric cars. Okay. Zero to 60. Come in the other direction, slightly uphill, 7.17. So if you combine the two together, it's about seven seconds. And the thing is with electric cars, with the exception of if the battery is completely depleted, you will get that same time again and again and again and again. They're very consistent. It's, well, it's electric. So you're not going to have any variables dealing with temperature, ambient temperature. You're not going to have to worry about high altitude. Simply put, put your foot down and go. I gotta say, that's fast. I mean, if you think about it, this thing, the battery weighs like well over 800 pounds. I weigh 250 pounds. So consider me two passengers. Seven seconds. Wow, it's fast. nice thing about this battery is it takes up no cargo space because it's underneath the vehicle but because of that placement and it's sitting between the front rear wheels it makes the car handle now like a sports car I mean one of the neatest things I've been told from uh, journalists was this rides just like a regular car and that's really nice to hear and is this front wheel drive it is front wheel drive does it have only one motor or uh, one motor in each wheel one motor itself for both wheels for both wheels correct uh, and uh, what kind of a warranty are you giving customers for the warranty on the vehicle itself we have the two years 24,000 miles maintenance three years 36,000 miles roadside service and then for the battery it's eight years 100,000 miles and for the powertrain five years or 60,000 miles uh, power output 129 kilowatts mileage estimates those are the interesting ones so you're getting a 76 combined number is that the That's equivalent it, MPG, MPG yeah yes. um, which is okay but it seems a little low for an electric car. Is that because it's such a big car? Well, it is a big car. It's a heavier vehicle in itself. Um, and, you know, the vehicle itself, we've done a lot of improvements for streamlining the vehicle itself, for, but for a vehicle its size, it's quite good. Um, and what's your favorite part of driving the, the EV RAV4? The acceleration. Yeah? I mean, because it is an electric car and acceleration, it's almost, it seems like instantaneous. I mean, zero to 60 time, you've got seven seconds, 8.6 seconds, in, and that's in sport mode, 8.6 seconds in normal mode, it is quick. And the other thing is, it's like, it's because of the weight of the battery, it handles really well. Uh, does it also regenerate power? Is it? Yes, it does, yeah, so it's a regenerative yeah. inside itself. 
So when you let your foot off the brake, it kind of feeds back power. Exactly. Plus we have a little braking mode here, which also helps that as well. And I'll use that as say if we're going downhill. I want to do a little bit more braking with the vehicle, and that'll help. Now I see you've got uh, heated seats. Is that to save on the amount of power that the car is using? Exactly. You're absolutely right there. What we found out is with using the air conditioning heating system, you will draw a lot of electricity out of the vehicle. Electricity that can be used for your mileage. So what we've done is, if you're using air conditioning or heating system, and especially the heating system if you're warming yourself up, what we've done is recommend to put the vehicle in eco mode, and we have two eco modes available. First, I should say, we have normal, which is just like the heating system or an air conditioning system in the car you're driving. Yes, but when you, you press, can go left here, sorry. But when you press eco mode itself, what it does is cutting back a little bit on the air conditioning system, on the compressor fan usage itself. Nathan, that's pretty impressive. We usually do zero to 60 times and we never get near what the manufacturer says and you nailed it. Actually, you went faster. Yeah, well, credit the burrito I had for breakfast it made me faster. So this is a car with a lot of first. It's the first crossover all electric. Yep. It also is Toyota's first all electric vehicle. Yep. It's also expensive. It's forty nine thousand dollars. That's a lot of money for a car. Yeah, but you are getting tech that has been carefully groomed and put together for a vehicle like this that you won't be able to get anywhere else. Look at it this way. There is Tesla tech in this vehicle. So in some ways, compared to a Tesla, it's a bargain. So you're getting you're getting a bargain Tesla. Is that what you're saying? That's exactly what I'm saying. As always, this is Roman and Nathan. See you next time on the Fast Lane Car. Thanks for watching. Now, is this available now to purchase? It sure is. Yeah, so uh, you can go into your California dealership. How many people are living in, like, uh, let's say they're in our hometown, Boulder, Colorado, because a lot of people are into electrics. Can they actually buy a car if they're not from California I and mean, bring it to Boulder? It is possible, Yeah. Uh, but what we recommend is for people who do buy one of these cars to be living in California. The reason is because we've, tra we've trained certain dealerships, dealerships who've put up their hand and said, yeah, we want to be part of this program. And they've been trained, so they have trained sales, service, as well as a service advisor, special tools that they do need to be able to go and diagnose, diagnose diagnostics or diagnose the vehicle. Right, sure. Me. Yeah, basically you've got dealers who know what to, how to Correct. fix it. Yeah, but you do sell a plug-in Prius, which you sell nationally, which I, I suspect would be somewhat similar to this in that it also has an electric motor that is driven off a of battery. So I guess I'm, I'm cheering for the hometown guys if they want to get a RAV4. <laughs> <laughs>